Hello and welcome back to another Disney Lorcana game. Today we're going to be playing Amethyst Ruby, or as I'm going to call this, Dragon Fire Control. You will see why very soon. All right, so we are on the go here. This hand does look pretty good. It's got a nice spattering of the be prepared. We're a little bit low on what we can use for our inkwell. But with us having two LeFous, I think we're going to be okay. So this deck isn't quite as fast as the last deck that I played because I don't have a turn one playable, but I think that'll be okay. Ooh, Tinkerbell from the enemy or opponent. I have been seeing that card a lot as well. This is the only downside. Uh, develop your brain. It, it looks amazing. We did get a queen off the top. Queen's kind of far out. That is a five drop. And we do want to have something on the board. So I think we're going to go ahead and put her into the inkwell. And then play a LeFou. And, oh, okay. I don't have anybody to choose with his ability. We'll just end the turn there. Alright, so they're playing Bell. Ooh, we got Gaston. Let's see, let's pitch them Maleficent, and I think we're gonna, do we wanna, yeah, we're gonna play the Maleficent, because we get to draw a card, and then discard one, I believe, oh no, we just get to draw, uh, we will quest, first quest on the board, nobody can play like Gaston, <laughs> I think next turn we're definitely gonna be putting down Gaston, they do have Tinkerbell. Ooh, perfect. We got a Shield of Virtue also. We have kind of the perfect curve here. We can Shield into Gaston. Gives us a little bit better board presence. Do we want to quest though? Their Tinkerbell could take out one of ours, but then it leaves them open. So I think we do. The only thing that might be bad is if they have the updated version of Tinkerbell, which I think is a shift for, and then it gets to attack and kill somebody. Yep, there it is. So it deals one damage to everything, and then they can attack one of my quested creatures or characters, and then they can use her ability kill another. Do they kill Gaston or Maleficent though? Gaston. Okay, we got another Maleficent off the top. Just checking what Virtue does there. Draw another card. Man, we are not getting anything with our Inkwell. Let's go ahead and quest. If they want to attack the Maleficent, then that just puts them one step closer to killing theirs. They got a Mickey. Get a clue. Okay, Hans. Okay, so they are questing. What do we got? What? What should we do here? We do have friends on the other side where we can just draw two cards. What's the likelihood that we're going to get some inkwell cards? Hmm. Let's use our Hurt Maleficent. Nice. Okay, we've got an extra shield, so let's go ahead and put that into the well. We can untap our Maleficent also. So I think, hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to protect it. Because again, if they attack the Hurt Maleficent like that, then we can always just hurt them unless they find a way to unexert it. Oh, I forgot about that ability. Dang. But we do have, we, we have Maui in our hand, so. not looking great for us right now. We just need more for the inkwell. Alright, we definitely put Aladdin in the inkwell. 
And then we can rush Maui out, and we can actually take out their Tinkerbell this turn. Wait, why can't... Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, why can't I attack? Alright. Now if they try to attack, their Mickey will die. Okay, Hades. Oh, they just get to banish. Okay, well they put in my Inkwell. We do got a Magic Broom. We could play this and hope that next turn we get one to banish all. Let's do that, because we have a Be Prepared. And that'll help us, because if they just go crazy right now and put out a bunch of creatures, then we can just wipe them all away. I kind of want a Maleficent back into my hand. Or back into the deck, I should say. Alright, let's pass the turn back to them. Okay, they've got another Hades. They just added... I mean, that's kind of... That works for me. They don't know. They just kind of sealed their fate with a Be Prepared. I think it's time to do it now. Banish all creatures. And then we pass. Okay, they're putting Smash into their Inkwell. This is normally where players don't think about, like, you can have four ofs in your deck. So they might just rush out a bunch of more characters here. Again, they're putting out another Hades. Which, go for it. I'm perfectly fine with you doing that. With us being so far ahead, I think friends on the other side into the Inkwell will be okay. And then we can just be prepared again. And... Let's see, maybe they'll lay their whole hand out. Okay, they got another Tinkerbell. Okay, they didn't play another one. Maybe we just Aladdin here? We could Elsa. I think I'm gonna go Aladdin. And then pass. We have three Elsas in hand, so... We're in an okay spot. Opponent's really thinking about it. Okay, so they got Mickey. They're just really building that inkwell. Ooh, grab your sword. Deals two damage to my Aladdin. I mean, that does put it in danger. If I were to quest it. Unless they have a smash in their hand. We can still trade though. We could trade with the Tinkerbell. And then take out the Mickey and still have our Rafiki. Then we just evened up the game because of Aladdin's ability. Oh, we can't attack the Mickey. It's not exerted. I always forget about that. Alright, let's go. Simba into the Inkwell. What do they have? Why are they still... Oh, a whole new world. No. I should have seen it coming. Ooh, there's Dragonfire. See, Dragonfire is great in this deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dragonfire is great in this deck because you can just banish one specific creature versus be prepared. And I like that's kind of the namesake that I'm thinking for this deck, just because it's so crazy of a card. All you got to do is have five Inkwell, and then you can just take out one. So. I think I'm going to take Bell here once the opponent passes their turn. Oh, perfect. So I can banish the Bell. Then I can attack the Mickey. Do I, or I could do the Maleficent first. I think I'm going to do that because I can banish the creature anyways. So hold on to the dragon fire. All right, and I think we're pretty ahead now. Gramatala into the inkwell. 
I'm not sure what the opponent can have. Okay, Aurora, Tinkerbell, Mickey. See, this is where it comes into play late game is they're just rushing out all of those characters. And now we get to kind of punish them a bit. So yeah, they think that they're protected because I can't attack them, but the dragon's fire gets around that. So I think now it's really just deciding what order I want to do this in. I think we dragon fire the Aurora and then hmm, we can Gaston, but he can't hit anybody this turn. We really don't need all these cards either. One of them can go into the inkwell, maybe. Let's get a draw. Okay, Magic Broom, we could use, we could put LeFou. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We can get stunned now, kind of set up our board, and then this way we can quest a bit. And we have the advantage for the questing, absolutely. So I think this is kind of just heading towards its natural end here. Two Hans? And a Mickey? Okay. Opponents putting up a fight. Alright, how do we deal with these Hans? Battle plans, they're gonna draw. Discard and then quest the Mickey. So we've got Gaston, we've got Maui. We've got 10 in our ink well. I think we put one guest on in the ink well, go up to 11, just to have it extra. We're one off from playing both of these. Hmm. Aladdin's good for late game, but I think Maui's the best for rushing now. Uh. The Hans does have one damage to each character whenever they quest, so the opponent's probably going to quest with both of them next turn, and really the only thing that could die to that is my Maleficent or my Gaston, so I think we just got to fill the board here. We can attack with Gaston, but we also can attack with Rafiki too. It doesn't die. Gaston will trade with Tinkerbell. And then we can quest our Maleficence. And put the rest of the game in the opponent's hand. We're seven quests away. They have nine. I mean... Was that... Six quests this turn if they don't kill anybody? Five, I forgot Maui doesn't. Okay. I mean, if that's all they have in their hand, it's looking good for us. I think they kill the Rafiki here. And then maybe deal one to our dragon. I wish I could, I, I wish this screen wouldn't come up. I wish I could see where they're hovering. Yeah, they deal one to the dragon. And they quest the Mickey. We'll see, now we can do some damage. So we can go ahead and throw out the Aladdin. And we can attack with Maui. Take out this Hans. And then we can use our Shield of Virtue to untap Maui. And then, because he can't quest, he should be able to attack again and take out the other Hans. Nice. Oh, we need to 
We need an extra in our inkwell. Let's go ahead and search. Magic broom. Mm. I really like the dragon fire. If we draw another, that's great. And now we can just quest and put ourselves in a really good position. Unless the opponent somehow has a board wipe or something crazy, I think we just win here. Let's see what they do. I really think in Tinkerbell. Deal one damage to everything. That's not going to be enough. All right, after a little bit of roping, yep, there it is. They concede. Well, that's Dragonfire Control. Did pretty well today. And uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a subscribe and a like it. And don't forget, you're doing everything right today, and you matter. Goodbye.